This is precisely why, given the passion I feel to understand reality, I don't want to start with philosophy. I don't want to start with theology, mm -hmm. as tempting as some of those things may be. I have to start with the universe. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we can really know for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true, and we know about its extent to some extent, but there could be a lot more to it than what we can see. Mm. It could be that far beyond our horizon there are more galaxies than we can ever observe. The universe could extend so far that every combinatorial option is repeated indefinitely, so there are other people like us sitting, talking somewhere far away. That would be far beyond our horizon. There could even be other universes, the aftermath of other big bangs. And another fascinating idea is that there could be other universes, other three-dimensional spaces, separated from ours, but embedded in some four-dimensional space. Just as you can imagine a whole lot of bugs or ants on a big sheet of paper, mm. thinking that's their two-dimensional universe and not being aware of another set of bugs on a parallel sheet of paper. So there could be another universe just a millimeter away from ours. But if that millimeter is measured in some fourth spatial dimension, and we're imprisoned in our three, we're not aware of it. And, so and there are all can, kinds of ideas. And that could be the totality of ev everything, uh, another totality of everything in a different dimension. Indeed, and in principle, an infinite number there could be. So there are all these ideas which involve believing that physical reality could be immensely more complex, even like a biological system, where each entity is like a universe or a Big Bang. <sighs> To be fair, there are some people who believe that the universe is actually a lot smaller than it appears because through uh, uh, a closed universe and being able through lensing, we're actually mm -hmm. seeing far galaxies or, or repetitions mm -hmm. of early ones. We're just seeing the same one over and over again. Yeah, the idea is that it's like a kaleidoscope and you see the same thing over and over again. Uh, in fact, observationally, we can say that the, uh, the unit or the cell in such a system would have to be essentially as big as the universe we can observe. Mm. Because were that not the case, we'd observe evidence of a lattice structure or we would see the same cluster of galaxies over and over again. So that can't be ruled out. But we know that uh, even if that's the case, then the, uh, the volume in which things are uh, not repeating themselves, is as big as 10 billion light years. We couldn't have said that 10 years ago, but we can uh, now say that. Okay. All right. Well, well, and so what you're describing is a possibility of a nesting of, of, infi of infinities. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's enough to uh, just send you into convulsions. Well, indeed, the aftermath of our Big Bang could be infinite. And even if it is, it could still not be all of reality. There could be the aftermath of other Big Bangs in some sort of idea which Andre Linde calls eternal inflation. And also, we have the idea that there could be extra dimensions and three-dimensional spaces like the one we are embedded in could be part of some grander scheme embedded in a higher dimensional space. So there are all these ideas, and it's all speculative at the moment, but all these options are on the table. And just as in the last hundred years, we have moved from knowing nothing at all about how our universe evolved to an idea where we all believe with great confidence it started off in a hot, dense state nearly 14 billion years ago. Then I hope during this century we may be able to narrow down the range of speculative options and know how much physical reality there is beyond what we can now see. To me, it's astonishing that in this 14 billion year history, in only 200 years roughly of human history, we have come so far in our understanding. It is astonishing, but I think another point which one realizes as an astronomer is that uh, the time lying ahead is longer than the time that's elapsed up to now. Even the sun is less than halfway through its life. And so I think we have to regard humans as not in any sense the culmination of evolution, but maybe at some quite early stage in a process of evolving complexity, which may develop here on Earth and far beyond into post-humans of vastly greater powers of comprehension than we have. And of course, that raises the other question, to what extent are our brains matched to understanding reality at its deepest level? It could very well be that there are laws of nature which really do apply, but which our brains can't appreciate just as my dog can't understand quantum mechanics. There may be laws that we can't understand. At the end of the day, 
how, what, what is your gut feeling when you think of multiple universes and all of this? <clears throat> how big do you think the cosmos is? I, right now, what, what is your instinct? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's foolish to have strong prejudices. And the one thing I would say, lots of scientists who I talk to clearly have preferences for the way they'd like the universe yes. to be. They might like a certain kind of equations to apply, etc. And we understand those prejudices. But there's no reason to think that the universe is the way we'd like it to be, the way that we can understand best. And so we need to distinguish our prejudices about the way we'd like the universe to be from the way it actually is and search all options. So I think it's very good that people are exploring all the options, hoping their theory is going to be true. But there's no reason to think that the universe will end up to be the way that we would like it to be. That said, what's your prejudice? I'm reluctant to offer one, but my suspicion is that our universe is much more complicated than the ideas we now have and that there will be something which is much more complicated than one Big Bang. And almost we may have some sort of biological structure of universes, uh, which uh, is as complicated as the uh, biological ecosystem which we have here on Earth. That's a possibility, though highly speculative.